So hi guys, welcome to another edition of Jason Mariner's Only Game. Hope you just joined us from uh, Jason Mariner's channel. Do subscribe to Jason's channel. It's Jason Mariner's Only a Game, fantastic channel. And we're doing subscriber questions. We're continuing with subscriber questions because we got so many that we've just. I mean, look at them. You know, so we we've got to catch up. We've got to try and catch up. So right, we're going to start <laughs> a negative. Would you like to apologise to your viewers why you didn't have one last week because yes. of the technical issue? Yes, computer problems. That's why we didn't have one last week. Totally my fault, Jason. Not his fault at all. He was there, ready and waiting. <laughs> Although I did say, to be fair, to be fair, I think on Wednesday, I said, oh, should we do one now? I've got the new computer and stuff like that. And I was out on one. I was on the yeah. session. No chance, mate. Yeah. No, 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 he was no. on the session. But you were step, you, you'd have still been a week late, so let's yeah, try that, and that. That's that. true. Fair enough. It's all my fault. It's all my fault. All right, yes, folks. Of now, we have some negatives, very occasionally. Tom D, he's not a fan of yours. Loads of pals, this, loads of pals, that. Marinori, everyone's friend and no one's mate. He's always having a dig at you, this Tom D. I, did you know who he is? Well, let, let, let's worry about Tom. Let me tell you one thing about Tom. He, he's always having a dig at me. If you think I think about Tom for one second, you're totally off your nut. right? Because as soon as we've moved on to the next question, I've forgotten about Tom. So let's not worry about Tom. The other thing I was going to say that if you if you do have criticisms, I miss some of them because they end up in the uh, not the spam, but you know the YouTube hold back. So if you if they're swearing away and all of that sort of stuff, um, yeah, I don't get to see them. So if you want to get the questions through, even if you're criticising what's going on, uh, just maybe leave out the, some of the big words. You know, right now, Joshua Sh Sh Schaufhausen. I think I pronounced that correctly. Sorry if I haven't. Can you ask Jason who's got harder firms? England uh, v Germany, or are Germany's firms hard? No, they've always been things. But what you got to understand with with uh, like countries like Germany, and you know, for argument's sake, and you know Poland and, and all them kind of the places now, even the Dutch years ago and whatever, the police were so far behind our football hooligan intelligence because they have it like reinvented it and whatever. Not saying it's, you know, like in big, but that's what happens. Mm -hmm. So they've had to follow us. So they were so far behind with, with organised getting up, sorting out the nuisances at football, getting football banning orders, getting this, getting that and whatever. So all of a sudden where our numbers dwindled down and wasn't this, that and the other, you know, they, they theirs were getting bigger. It's as simple as that, do you know what I mean? Well, why did but, the numbers know, go down then? Why why did the numbers well, start? Well, because going? I just told you, because of football banning orders and because yeah. of because of people getting nicked, because of pricks like me going to being sent to prison. Listen, you get you get nicked for a football turnout in England nowadays, mate. There, there's a there's a 70-30 chance you're going to the warehouse. Mm -hmm. Do you uh, I was gonna ask at the time when it was all going on and Thatcher did a whole, you know, crush down on the football. But that was different then. That was the 80s, yeah. mate. Yeah. Well, were you, but you you were presumably pro-Thatcher. What did you feel like she was having a go at all of uh, you guys or, or what? She was, she was, she, I mean, she was, she was the Iron Fist, wasn't she? And yes. she was, wasn't yeah. she? You know what I mean? Whether it become the miners' strike. Yes. Whether it become, whether it become football and this, that and the other. Uh I liked her. You know, she actually, she actually, she actually, uh, uh, her pal of mine got nicked and cause she made it and they didn't, and it was after a football match. Right. And uh, yeah. once again, I'm not going to mention no names or this, that and the other and blah, blah. And she put a big thing, you know, she made a big thing in the house of Compton and this, that and the other. And it was a front page newspaper. But we must catch the fat man at Chelsea. We really? must catch the fat man. Come on. Really? <laughs> to do with my, my pal. Oh, they got him eventually. He ended up getting to four. Like, and that was back in the day. Back really? in the Did you know what I mean? Oh, she did. Listen, <laughs> he had a party when she died. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> I was there. I was there the moment she went out of Downing Street, you know, when she had the tear in her eye. I, I was I was passing and I saw her come out. So a bit of history. Oh, yeah. I told you on my channel, you love a bit of controversy, don't you? I? I love a bit of controversy. I've got to be there. I like to be there, right in there. And something gets me going. I probably might have been a decent football hooligan if I could have fight, but obviously I can't. Um, <laughs> and the, the only time I think I ever got, I was, the first ground that I ever went to was the Goldstone ground, Brighton. Brighton. Years I used to live in Brighton. Brighton. And I remember Portsmouth rushing the end. The Goldstone. Remember my pal playing in golf for them Perry Digweeds? 
No, uh, this has got to be uh, used. Big Chelsea Chelsea's poor. Uh, Chelsea's poor. Good pal of mine, Perry. He's got um, he's got a flat behind the kit behind the uh, by the world's end there. Yeah, he, he, yeah. He, he played one goal for Chelsea. He played he played one game for Chelsea. He's Chelsea's poor. He's actually a season ticket holder for Chelsea. Yeah, he's a white right pal. Well, this so, this was years ago. He played in the days. For Brighton. Do you remember when Chelsea played Brighton first game of the season? I think yes. it was about 83, 82, 83. Something like that, yeah. Something like that, yeah. Perry paid in goal for that in that, in that game. Well, I was at the, the era, and any Brighton fans might remember this, Eddie Spirit, uh, Alex Dawson, who came down from Manchester United to play for Brighton. Well, well, you, you, you seem to know a lot about Brighton, considering you're a man nice for a while. <laughs> yeah, early days before I was educated <laughs> and moved on, you know. Oh, oh, so you got more clubs than Jack Nicholas? Is that what you're Absolutely. saying? Absolutely. <laughs> Manchester United through and through. You know, I don't okay. live in Manchester, yeah. so I've got to be a United supporter. Um, right, let's have a look. Oh, yes, Stefan Danielson. Uh, does Jason know Bill Gardner? No name to say hello to, name to, do you know what I mean? Acknowledgement, not not, not like the likes of, of Carlton and Cass and what have you, yes. do you know what I mean? But, uh, yes. I don't think he's too clever at the minute, Bill, to be totally really honest with you. He sent me a nice message, Carlton, actually, the other day. He yeah. went up the Rangers. Did you ever come Duncan. across Cass and Carlton in your days of. The... Yeah, of course, yeah, of yeah. course, yeah. Were you it's ever like, era, opposite? It? Yeah, of course. Yeah, did you ever think you clashed or I don't yeah, know? But you don't what you've got to understand is them days, Liam. Yeah, they're talking both both sets of firms were like having five and six hundred, and they're literally five and six hundred. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. you know, it's it's, it's, you know, it's not like now, it's not like in 30 and 40. You know what I mean? So, so if a firm goes and gets 150, they've done well nowadays, mate. I'll tell you that now, yeah, absolutely. Then again, 30 or 40 is a plus, plus. Right, we've nice. got John Smith. In Scotland, he said Hibs were the main crew, would have taken any firm in their day. Did you, have you ever come across the Hibs crew up there? Yeah, of course, yeah. Good, good firm, Hibs. Good firm. No, no doubt about it. There's no point lying about something. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Aberdeen were another one. But yeah, Hibs and Aberdeen, yeah. Right. So, Welsh Wonder Kids. Uh, ask Jason, did he ever have any rows with the Turks, clubs, or away with England? Uh, also, who was the best organised foreign mob he came across? The um yeah, obviously Galatasaray, she also went to Galatasaray, but everyone that went there was like up for it, you know what I mean? Well, I've got into darkness again, Jason. I've got into darkness. I'm gonna to have to open this window. What's going on with the lights in this place? Oh, Bear I... with me, folks. I'm in darkness. I don't know why. There you go. Right, moving on, moving on. Yeah, Turks. Yeah, so the old gone berserks, say um they were they were thing, but they were they, they was like other phone clubs. They wasn't organised. They'd just be numbers. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? They'd be numbers. Where we was more organised. We was like you know, we knew what we was doing. Wasn't the reputation of the Turks? Wasn't it like you know everybody was scared to go to Turkey and you know? it, yeah, it wasn't so much yeah because they was they were known for absolute blade merger. Because I think. I don't know if this is true now, but I'm sure back in the day it was legal for them to stab waist downwards. Mm. They yes. could stab you in your ass or your legs or your really? or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Legal. I believe so. I believe so. So, so um, they so was known for carrying chips. So obviously, you know, if you was English, that's the first thing you'd fucking do. You'd think fuck that, I ain't. Do you know what I mean? Uh, you know, but, so when you when you when 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 we used to go to places like Germany, you, you could put, you know literally walk into a shop and buy a bit of tear gas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. that's the first thing you do, isn't it? Go and buy a bit that, that's gas. The, when I went to Germany, that was probably the first thing I did when I went in there. You know, got me tear gas. You know, but um, <laughs> <laughs> it's just just a holiday. You know, whatever. <laughs> uh, right. Um, let's have a look, uh, Jason. It's uh, so this is from it's the nightmare, Jason. Give us. Uh, Chubby Chris in Combat 84. Um, tell us something about them. Oh, and he says, Do you remember the famous fight at the gig in Benny's Bar that was in the band's 40 minute documentary? No, I've seen it, I've seen it. Uh, or I don't think I've seen the not as the whole 40 minutes or whatever. But good, Chubby Chris was the lead singer of Combat 84, he was the yeah. lead singer of a group. Which was, I think, he formed and whatever. But Chubby Chris actually started off at Fulham. Fulham he was a Fulham supporter. Right. A certain mate of mine, a certain certain pal of mine, Billy got him into the he's got him into the skinhead scene. Blah blah blah. He used to go to Chelsea, and that's how he be, he become coming to Chelsea. Um, but he actually started off at Fulham. He's no longer with us, bless him. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, he's, he was a uh, 
<laughs> he's a character, Chris. I tell you, you'd like him on here, I'll tell you. He, he, can, tell you, he can tell you a jack and all. He don't know about that. Right, so uh, back to Bill Gardner. Apparently, this is from Richie Rich. Bill Gardner rated Millwall as the best he came up against. I don't know if that's true, but that's what Richie Rich says. Well, that, that, that is entitled to his opinion. I mean, uh, because when Millwall were going to play West Ham, that is their biggest rivals. Right. So, you know, uh, and vice versa. So the, everyone and their grandmother's out for that. Do you know what I mean? Everyone and their grandmother. Right. Uh, Fork Hugh. Uh, ask him if his mate, the snooker player, Jimmy White, got a slap from the head bouncer for showing off in a Newcastle nightclub in the mid-90s. Oh, no idea. I don't know. Jimmy's at home now. Anyway, I spoke to him the other day. He's, he's, he's he? back in England. Yeah, he's all right. He's sweet. Yeah, he's sweet. Yeah. Oh. Back in England. I thought he was, I was having a, I was going out. So I was phoning him. And uh, he said, I'm back in England, Joe. So he'll catch up when he's back over, I think, September. God, there's so many questions here, guys, to get through. Um, Frank Portinari, who we, we uh, spoke about last yeah. week, he said he was oh, with Charlie Bronson on the cat wing uh, in Winston Green back in 93. Uh, we still keep in touch. It's time for him to be released. So that's we all agree with that, don't we? 100%. And uh, it's nice, nice to hear Frank's doing well and cracking on. I hope you had, I hope you had a good time in Belfast. Frank, and then I actually went to Glasgow a week after. Right, okay, right, okay. Uh, Nick Heyman, can you ask Jason, was he at the baseball ground a week after Leeds ripped the seats out and then Chelsea did the same? Well, what happened was, the, yeah, I was there as it happens. What happens, that was about 84, 85, something like that, and we got banned. We, uh, that, that good, uh, I'll tell you what happened, they scored in the last minute, Darby. Right. They scored in the derby was the baseball ground. They scored in the last minute and it went absolutely berserk. Then we got banned from everywhere and they still do t shirts now. 1982, actually, I think that was 1982. You can't ban a Chelsea fan, the t shirts are still going. <laughs> uh, and, then, and then we had, the, the, we, I think we was away, yeah, like two weeks after that. And everyone went and the old bill just let us in the ground. So it was just too many of us. They just Thanks. because people were. People were just fucking so obsessed with going to, but yeah, cool. That went absolutely berserk there, Derby. Looks like yeah. you enjoyed yourself there, Jason. These memories were they well, come out. no, but it's good that they, them kind of people. They, you know, they, they, you know, he's obviously from Derby and what have you. But yeah. well, to say that he could be a Chelsea supporter. But yeah, we, yeah, it's fantastic. You know, but listen, it's part of growing up, and it that's what it was. I, I, Living on my memories because it's it's gone now. I'm not interested that much. You know I mean? Yeah, I remember them days, Tooting and Mitchum. Oh, blimey, Terrace is tough. You, you keep you keep mentioning Tooting and Mitchum. We've had <laughs> Brighton, Man yeah. United, now Tooting and Mitchum. <laughs> I mean, I bet they're over the moon. I bet they're over the moon that you won the the, the firm. <laughs> <laughs> we we moved around a lot. My dad, I don't know why we, we, moved, we moved a lot. So I, you know, I had a lot of loyalties, but Man United came through in the end. Now, Jack Smith, he was the bloke now. <laughs> I don't know what to say about Jack Smith. But anyway, he wants to know, why does Jason continue, continually make rude remarks about Jill Dando looking for a front door keys? It's a joke, mate. It's my sense of humour. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's not a rude remark, is it? It's just a, I'm actually swearing like an L, you know what I mean? It's, <laughs> it's a joke. There's no point going on about it. I mean... You know, people are going to have plenty to say about me when I'm dead, so I won't worry about it, mate. I'll move on. Enjoy enjoy your shepherd's pie tonight. <laughs> um, <laughs> Glenn Mountain. I'm still in darkness. Not that it matters, folks, but, you know, because Jason's who you want to see. was me going on about the fact I'm getting recognised now for this, and now I'm plunged into darkness. It's karma, isn't it? It's karma. That's what's happened. Can you not brighten it up, Glenn? Can you not brighten it up? Well, yeah, Glenn? I might be able to afterwards, yeah, but then I'll be brightening you up when you look all gorgeous anyway. Right. Yeah. So let's have a look. Uh, when are you coming back to York for a light ale, please, Jace? That's from Glen Mountain. Fucking, you ever been York? What a nice gaff that is. Nice yeah, and nice pretty, gaff. Yeah, it's um, good. Pretty? I mean, that's not the sort of word you want to be using. I, I, I know. I've let myself pretty. down. I've let myself this down. Is, nice, what, what, nice gaff. Nice gaff. I don't know. Listen, I don't know when I'm coming back to England, so I certainly don't know when I'm coming back to York. So I'll, I'll say, I should cut that and say, it's a decent gaff. Should I say? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, it's a decent gaff. Yeah, right. it is nice. It's nice gaff. Now, do you know someone on 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 here? Uh, I haven't got the name. I've got to find it. Some one of the comments. He said I was a bit posh. I said I was a posh boy. I, I, I've never seen myself as a posh boy. 
I'm, I'm like, yeah, I'll put you, I'll put, I'll put you in that bracket. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm a South Londoner. How can I be a posh boy? You know, lived in South London most of my life, apart from Brighton. Good and bad everywhere, Liam. Good and bad everywhere, my old cousin. Yeah, it's only because I, w- I used to be an actor. That's all, all it was, you know. But back in, yeah. the- although yeah. Jason's done more acting than me recently, especially some of the roles that he's done have been very, very good. Um, right now, let's have a look. We haven't got time for a few more. Oh yeah, but we've only got a couple of minutes left, so we might as well say. Um, we're going to be doing a football thing on here as well. We're going to do football every week, so we're probably going to go twice a week, Jason. So we're going to get some guests on. So uh, so a lot of people have been saying they want to see Andy Frame. Andy, like, doesn't have a night. It's it's, 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 since I've I've tried to get him to write a book, to be truthful. He just won't do things like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, He's threatening, he's threatening to come over. He keeps saying to me, he's going to come, he's going to come, he's going to come. And I think he will one day. I think he will. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. it'd be lovely to get him over here, have a, have a night out with him over here. It'd be great. Fantastic. There's so many people we've got. Uh, Stefan Danielson calling us top geezers. David Jones, I'm coming to Thailand soon. I'm going to find Churchill's Bar and have a drink with you. Uh, Peter Ollie, nice one, Liam. I find Jason very entertaining. So have people been coming in the bars and say that they've they've seen you on it? But not just the bar. I used to get it anyway, Liam, on yeah. my YouTube channel before me and you started this. Yeah, absolutely. Now, I mean, you'd be surprised that the, 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 the people, you know, where they're watching it from, if that makes sense. Do you know what I mean? Sorry to interrupt. We're under a minute, so this may go off in a minute. I promise next time that the lights will be on. And um, we will be and listen, back. they're probably happy with the lights off, mate. I wouldn't worry. <laughs> <laughs> so we will see you soon. And we're going to be back with a football show when the football season starts. And all right, but we're going to be back to our once a week now that we're back on the case. So thanks very much, Jason. We'll see you soon.